Hey guys, what's up? This is Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and today we want to address a very important question which is faced by many of you. Well, how many times it happens to you? You want to pursue your dream, your dream career, but finances come in the middle. Well, I know a lot of students who face this problem. Financial hurdles while they're studying is a big problem. And that is where as soon as students pass out their MSc, they want to get into a job and then they think they should prepare for CS and So I want to address this question today. And the question is, what to do first? Should I go for a job after MSc or should I go for CS and I'm going to give you some important pointers which will help you think logically and come to a decision. So before we get started, here is a very important thing for you. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I want to tell you that at this juncture, if I have something to de deliver and that's just pure honest logical pointers i'll give you the pointers just listen to that after that whatever you feel like you're free to do but listen to me once it will definitely help you conclude what you want from life so without any further ado let's get started Welcome back. So now we are looking at what to do first and first question, why should you watch this video even now? I mean like another 15-20 minutes, why should you spend on this video? So here's the thing. You should watch this video because I'll try to help you think logically and my aim is to help you achieve a conclusion because at the end of the day, if you have a conclusion, you have a closure. If you have a closure, that's where you know, okay, this is the action plan I have and I'm going to work on it. So this particular video will help you get to the action plan. So let me address the job part first. So here's the job part. As soon as you get a job, you are into the money mode and money mode means one thing. You are just getting your salaries and every month it keeps coming. Now it becomes very difficult to switch from the money mode to a study mode and many students face this it's not just you many students once they start earning getting to the study mode will be very difficult i have seen so many students facing that so okay job is a pure money mode once you are getting addicted to, addicted to that coming back back to the study mode some days you will feel very mo highly motivated you will get to studies and then some days you'll be very tired and you will just skip it so that's where money mode is dangerous for study mode. Now the next one, weekend preparation is a myth. Many students think I'll attend the weekend classes. Yes, at Biotechnica also we have weekend classes, but that's a separate story. What happens in a weekend class? Let me highlight. Now imagine you worked Monday to Friday. Okay. When you study, uh, when you worked Monday to Friday, you were already tired. And now that you come for the classes or you start preparing, You'll just, your mind will just like to relax. It will not like to, you know, stress for some extra two days or hustle for extra two days. How much ever you try to convince, many students I have seen, they quit preparation midway because their mind says, I need rest. Okay, so that's where, here's a point for you. When will you do these four things? Studying, memorization, revision, and practice. Imagine, when will you do all of this. So if you are not doing any of these during your weekends, then you will not be able to justify your preparation. Now, at the same time, here's a pointer which I want to highlight. And that is, at the same time, while you're preparing, you will not be able to justify your job. You will not be able to do your job properly because you are tired on the weekends. Then when you will come and Monday to Friday, you will feel lethargic because you worked extra on the weekend. So that's that's an extra mental uh, burden which can happen. So students or, uh, you know, job seekers or uh, people in job, bioprofessionals who want to do this, think once before you get into this bandwagon. Okay, now coming back. Late night studies, many students say, okay, I'll study in the late night. But what will happen is in the daytime, you'll feel sleepy. And in the daytime, you are in office. So if you are caught sleeping in the office, that's a very bad thing, right? So that's where, you know, uh, late night studies is a bad idea. Next one, money is not a very good motivator. It's a bad motivator. Now, why do I say that? Why do I say money is a bad motivator? You see, 
when you get addicted to getting money every month and then suddenly you say okay let, let me leave the job and go for full time studies or you say okay um, you know i'll study together and because of that your job gets impacted you will get demotivated because you because of your studies your you know job is getting impacted so it becomes a demotivating factor so that's something which you need to consider now coming back here you will have job targets now job is a different treadmill you will have job targets you will have colleagues you will have you know uh, promotional ladder you will have career ladder all such things so that's where you know you will get demotivated when you fail to proceed to the next uh, uh, career ladder because you could not achieve your job target while you could you could while you are still you know preparing and preparation is nothing but struggle let me be very very clear preparation is all about struggle so you are struggling there already in studies and then you come back to your job and you you start struggling your mind starts getting bogged down and you start cursing yourself that why the hell i'm doing all this or that so that's where it's a bad motivator and yes job targets next it's like one leg in one boat and another leg in another boat suppose there are two boats okay so there are two boats your leg is on one boat and another leg is on the other boat now both the boats are going in a different direction what will happen you'll fall down and you will sink and this is the truth guys i don't want to put words in your mouth but many students i have seen they quit preparation midway while they are in the job or they just quit their jobs and get full time into preparation so either of the two happens okay so you need to think about this when you are taking up a job or you know uh, whatever is the situation now coming to csi net what's the situation with csi net let me highlight that so csi net is pure study mode it requires complete focus you 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 can't really say that okay i will you know have a job or i will you know watch some netflix and side by side i'll prepare you can't do that when you are preparing you are preparing your instructor or your coach or your teacher says sit you sit the teacher says stand you stand that's the kind of dedication motivation focus has to be there you have to be that arjuna who focuses not on the fish but on the eye of the fish now coming quickly here it requires complete focus but it is also equal to 13 master syllabus msc syllabus and that means you are struggling you know not just with one but 13 msc syllabuses together it's called the mother of all entrance exam i don't want to scare you but i want to tell you that it's not that easy as it seems to be so that's where you require assistance you require support and that's where biotechnica comes into picture we definitely will support you at any juncture of your preparation you want help you can always contact us for study material test series coaching or internships we are there always for you coming next to the pointer which is it requires minimum 4 to 6 months of preparation that we have seen no matter how smart you are how big topper you have been in your masters you need definitely de dedicated preparation for 3 to 5 months or 6 months and that's where you will have to spare time for studying memorizing revising and practice these are the four important aspects of your preparation so you will have to design your day in such a way that a part of the day you are studying a part of the day you are memorizing a part of the day you are revising and a part of the day you are practicing so this is all about csi net now coming to the next part can i do it together right so now you know the burden of job you know the burden of csi if you try to do it together the answer is a no and a yes why no why yes let me put come to that so no because csi net syllabus requires a lot of attention if you really honestly with ju judicious uh, utilization of your time you want to prepare then i will say you should you know go for csi net instead of you know diverting your attention and trying to do too many things i'll give you a simple example here can you boil a ocean you cannot but can you boil a pan of water yes so basically a pan of water is one task while trying to boil the ocean is multiple task when you are in a job and you are trying to do csi net it's multitasking and multitasking is a myth and multitasking is a sin that will cause huge stress here right so you will neither be able to enjoy your job life nor you will be able to enjoy your preparation life both will be you know in a tug of war but anyways last point here for you is yes you should do this yes you should prepare for csi net while you are in a job if only if your case is where your financial situation is bad and you you and you and your family's survival is dependent on the salary which you receive from the job so yes in that case you should do it together but yes you will have to hustle you will have to you know work in tandem both the places you will have to balance 
but I think many people do it pretty well. So it's not that you cannot do it. It's not that it is impossible, but all I'm saying is it's gonna be tough. Now, the next question is anything else we can do apart from this? So yeah, what you can do is while you're preparing for CSANET, if you start teaching in a coaching institute where you are training students for CSANET, now that's a win-win situation. So you're getting paid for your uh, for teaching the students. And at the same time, you know, you are also learning because teaching is the best way of learning. Now, another thing general people do is they go to YouTube and they start making videos and start teaching those topics, whatever they studied, they'll start teaching. It's a good idea, but it's not an active way of, you know, interaction. It will not help you very much, but yeah, it can help you to some extent. So, but you won't get a lot of money from YouTube. That's a myth. You will hardly get, you know, a few pennies or a dollar. <laughs> Initially, you may not get anything. So that's where, so yeah, that can be done. I think the first option is good, but the pointer here is coaching institutes don't hire you unless you have a CS on it. So that's something which you'll have to look at. Anyways, you can always become a subject matter expert, like developing study material, test series, That that's the job you can take in coaching institutes. That's where, yeah, you can do that. So here is a conclusion which I would like to make. And before I do that, I want to tell you this. This video I made because somebody asked me this question. And I know all those people who struggle here, the only thing is they don't want to leave the job, but they want to progress in their career. Remember, for every dream, you will have to do some kind of sacrifice, boss. It's not that, uh, you know, you will get the best of both the worlds. There are hardly any things where you get the best of the both, both the worlds, okay? So here's the conclusion for all of you. You have to dream. You have to dream, but with your open eyes. Be practical, okay? Just don't stress yourself. Next, choose your battles wisely, whether a job or whether CS it or whether both. You have to choose your battles very, very, very wisely. The third one, do one thing at a time with complete 100% focus. Like I said, you can't boil the ocean, but you can definitely boil a pan. So one thing at a time, but try with the focus and it will heat up. Okay, and that will help you. The next one, what happens when you drive while talking on the mobile? Accident, right? That is, you will be highly prone to accidents either in job or preparation if you are doing it together. So that's something you should, you should consider. And the last one, for poor economic situation students, you can do, you can do a job while preparing, but you'll have to hustle between job and studies. It's going to be challenging if you're up for the challenge, nothing like it. So here we come at the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching my help and my pointers. I hope will definitely support you in your future endeavors. At Biotechnica, we provide coaching for CSIN and GATE and NEET and various other entrance exams like CVT. And we also provide support for study material, test series and whatnot. Whether you're in a job, whether you want to study online, offline, whichever mode, Biotechnica is one helping hand which will always be by your side whenever you want. So if you want to, you know, contact us on WhatsApp, the WhatsApp number is 9535888233. It's given in the description. Please contact us on WhatsApp. You can also be in touch with us through YouTube. The comment section is always open for you. Go ahead, ask your questions. I'm right here to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was wonderful, fun and pleasure once again interacting with all of you. Till then, for the next video, till then, take care. Bye-bye.